hey guys in this lesson we are going to see how to call to a function in this view controller from a another view controller that we are going to create soon here open our main storyboard actually we are having a fresh xcode project don't worry then then you have to add another view controller to this storyboard also create a new class for this by right clicking on this your project name select new file select the cocoa touch class then next select your file name i will say second view controller this will be the class name also then finally create that now you have to connect that with your view controller here press on this little yellow icon go to here then in the custom class section start to type your class name which is second view controller it will automatically suggest it to you okay now we need a button that allow us to open this view controller then let's add a button i will say open next page and also we need constraint to this button left 12 right 12 top 12 okay now how we can show that page we can press on this button and in the keyboard we have to press on the control then drag that to here click the show option okay now what we are going to do is add some button in this view controller then if we press on this button if there are any function in this view controller that function should be called we are going to do that using notification center also we are going to see how to pass data I'm going to add some button to here also call to view controller function view controller some function let's say like that now i'm going to add consent to this button too top 12 left 12 right 12 all right here we have to connect this button with the class how we can do that you can press on this button go to assistant if your new class is not visible here you can select that by this way press on this button add editor on right then press on the left side again now you can see your path selection select your class here then i am going to drag this button by pressing control in the keyboard to here and I will say the connection as action also button name as button click like that type as UI button all right now we need a label to show some data here I will say data will be visible here like that now let's add some constraint top as 12 also left 12 right 12 actually it will come to below of this button don't worry then we have to connect this with the class which is this view controller we can press again the view controller by assistant there I'm going to drag that to here connection as outlet I will say txt label all right now we can go to our second view controller for this view controller then I will create some variable to store what we are going to pass actually we can have some input field to pass data and send 
but in this case we can have random one let's say let m s t r is equals to my age is 34 now we are going to open our view controller and then create a new extension for our notification dot name inside this I'm going to say in the braces I'm going to say static let and then some variable name for this as reload you can use whatever you want according to variables rules now I will set this egg was to notification dot name and then parenthesis inside parenthesis we can pass in a identifier for this notification we can say something like reload data or something like that otherwise you can directly say reload you can use whatever you want here now we have to create an observer to listen when this notification get called for that I will go ahead and say notification center dot default dot at observer right here we can go ahead and pass in the first argument as self and secondly we have to pass in a function there but in the below or top we have to create a at objc function right i will say reload my data something like that and this should be a function so we have to say if f u n c here all right and uh, we can end up with the parentheses inside parentheses we have to pass in the parameter type as notification and then colon we have to say notification now at braces now we can do whatever here what i'm going to go ahead and do is pass data from this class then get that and change that value for this text label all right now to call to this function we have to say hash selector inside parenthesis we have to say self dot reload my data which is our function that we created inside this we can pass in this parameter type and then colon okay now name the identifier that we put here which is notification dot name and then parentheses include double quotations inside that we have to pass in this identifier which we are going to use you can use your identifier for this notification this particular notification all right object will be nil in this case now we have to load data from our notification how we can load before that let's go ahead and call to this notification for that here in this button click function we are going to go ahead and say notification center dot default dot post here as the argument we have to pass in name colon now what is it actually do you remember we have created this reload variable we have to say dot reload then it will have this identifier value there the next argument will be object i will set this as nil all right here we come to the place that we are going to send data but for that we should have a dictionary let's go ahead and create a dictionary i will say m data now the type of this should be first one is the identifier so we have to say is string right then we have to say the data type 
in this case we are going to pass in a e string if you are going to pass any image you can use ui image otherwise if you are going to pass in any boolean you can use boolean if you are using integer you can say integer but we should have a e string here to say the id of that data now i will say this a equals to square brackets and then first one is id i will say data for that you can use whatever you want then colon now value in this case mstr now here we have to say argument type user info colon now we can pass in this m data right okay here we are sending data to this view controller because we are listening to that notification that's why i said we are sending data to this, this view controller now in this function to receive that data i'm going to go ahead and say if let data is equals to this notification this one dot user info then caption mark now inside square brackets we have to say id which is this one we used that should be the id then we are taking this as a as section mark is string all right now we can add braces now inside braces we can do anything with this data i will set this text label text there txt label dot text is equals to data now we can go ahead and run this to see how this works here our app has launched now the current value of this label is data will be visible here now if we call to view controller some function now you can see that label text has changed to my age is 34 actually we can do similar thing for images by passing in ui image here and also we have to change the type of this value also here we have to change this the receiving type of that data to that particular data type that is it for this lesson and i will see you in the next lesson also i will include this project download link in the description thank you